Hello friends, this video on rational numbers part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now when we talk about addition, so it, it becomes very obvious to talk about additive inverse. Now what is the meaning of additive inverse of a rational number? It means a number which when added to the rational number gives you 0. So for example, you have a rational number 1 by 2. Do you think that there can be a number which when added to this 1 by 2 gives you 0? So can you think of any such number which when added to 1 by 2 gives 0? Let's say you have 10 rupees. How much should you have so that your uh, net balance becomes zero? In that case, you'll have to spend those 10 rupees. You have 10 rupees, you again spend 10 rupees. So basically 10 plus minus 10 becomes zero. In a similar way, 1 by 2 plus minus 1 by 2. So if, if this question mark is replaced by minus 1 by 2, so plus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 becomes zero. Do you want to see this on a number line? Just have a look at it. This is interesting. Let's say this is 0, 1, 2. This side you have minus 1, minus 2. So this is some somewhere here you would have 1 by 2. Now 1 by 2 plus minus 1 by 2. That means since it is minus, so you will move towards the left. And how many steps? One step. And each step 1 by 2. So each step 1 by 2 will take you here. And what is here? You have 0. So this... On the number line also it very clearly proves that 1 by 2 plus minus 1 by 2 gives 0. Let us take another example. What is that number which when added to minus 5 by 3 would give us 0? Now the simple tip to remember to find out the additive inverse is that you just reverse the sign. So in this case the number has a negative sign. So therefore its additive inverse will have a positive sign. So this question mark should be replaced with plus 5 by 3. So if you add plus 5 by 3 to minus 5 by 3, you get 0. So because of this property, 0 is called additive identity. Why is 0 called additive identity? Because if you add 0 to any number, the number remains the same. For example, you have 23. You add 0 to it, you get 23. You have 2 by 3. You have add 0 to it, you get 2 by 3. You have let's say minus 5 by 6, you add 0 to it, you get minus 5 by 6. So basically 0 when added to any number retains the identity of that number. That is why 0 is called additive identity. And because of this property of 0, we have this concept of additive inverse. So here if you look at this, 2 by 3 plus 0 is equal to 2 by 3. That actually means that 2 by 3 minus 2 by 3 is equal to 0. So actually both of these relations are kind of interrelated. So this gives us the concept of additive inverse. So let us try to find out additive inverse for a few numbers. Let's say 51. What would be the additive inverse of 51? Pretty simple, minus 51. Because when you add minus 51 to 51, you get 0. 10 by 24, the additive inverse would be minus 10 by 24. Minus 11 by 6, the additive inverse would be 11 by 6. Minus 9 by minus 3. So what would be the additive inverse of this? So minus 9 by minus 3 is actually 9 by 3. That's because minus minus will get cancelled out. So what would be the additive inverse of 9 by 3? It would be minus 9 by 3. 3. Now this is interesting and important as well. Do not think that it has minus sign both of them. So let's reverse the minus sign for both of them. So minus 9 by minus 3 is actually 9 by 3. So its additive inverse would be minus 9 by 3. So the simple tip to remember to find out additive inverse is that overall you just reverse the sign of the rational number. So overall if the rational number is positive, its additive inverse will be negative. Overall the rational number is negative, so the additive inverse would be positive. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.